Whatever you lost, I didn't take it. Unless, of course, it's the key to your heart. Not now, Ramsey. What's with all this junk? I'm looking for evidence. Of what? A half-eaten candy bar? No. A gas receipt. I know that I filled up my tank the day before the accident. Eve, you have to stop torturing yourself. It was just an accident. I just found out that Lucy went to the ballet academy to pick up Serena the day of the wreck. So? So she called me that morning, and I told her I was going to be picking up Serena. Oh. I mean, why would she drive all that way? So you smell a rotten egg. You bet I do. Oh, yeah. Here it is. I got it. The gas receipt. This proves that I filled up my tank that day. Just goes to show you should never throw anything out. Well, obviously you don't. So what now? Now I find out what happened to the gas in my tank. And if I find out that Lucy Co had her dirty little paw prints anywhere near this, she will not live to see her wedding day. Here is to the wedding of the year. Ah! Sure to be a showstopper. Mm hmm Oh, uh, listen, did you have a chance to talk to Maxie and kind of go over everything about oh, Serena's accident? Yeah, 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 I did. I told her that she could hold her hand while she walked down the aisle, and she could secretly whisper to her and describe to her what was happening. Thank you. That means a lot. And that's it, then. All the details are taken care of. This is going to be perfect. By this time next week, I'm going to be Dr. Mrs. Kevin Collins. Can't <laughs> love to bind. Yeah, that's one way to describe it. <laughs> okay, then. How would you describe it? Excruciatingly wonderful. Yeah, that's one way. You know, I love Kevin Collins so very much. He is everything. Everything I have ever, ever wanted. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sure he feels the same way about you. Well, he better. And Mac, of course, is crazy about you. Yeah, he's crazy, all right. And you, of course, are nuts about him. Totally. You know, I don't think there's anything like, nothing, nothing like <laughs> finding a guy that can be your best friend, and still, when he looks at you, mm -hmm. your toes curl. Nothing like it. <laughs> oh, you know, we do have to keep something in mind. There are probably going to be some tongues a-wagging, you know? I mean, what, is this my force? Maybe your fifth, fourth or fifth, you know? And I'm not going to count Rick Stanton, but we are up there, you know. Yeah, well, listen. I have been married to the same man twice, mm -hmm. and two of my marriages weren't legal. So, I guess I could technically say that this is going to be my second marriage. Then technically, listen to this. I have only been married, this will be my first time. Because this is the only true, thank you, right one, the only one and only. See? So, first time. Sound like a greeting card. How do you know it's right? I mean, really, how do you know it's right? How does anybody really know that it's right? I do know how I'm going to prove my undying love to Kevin, though. I'm calling my hairdresser! <laughs> what are you going to do? Have his initials engraved into your head? <sighs> Hello, Sinclair. Hello, it's Lucois. <laughs> Hi, listen, um... I want the name of the best darn tattoo artist in Port Charles. There is no way a full tank of gas could just disappear in 24 hours. Oh, you did say that school was way on the sticks. It was, but well, no, it wasn't that far. And besides, I was at Scott's babysitting for most of the day. Well, something happened. But, um, you know, it could be just a, a leak in the gas line. That's it. I'll, I'll call the, the company that towed the wreckage. Oh, my gosh, and I'll have them check it out. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yes, hi. Uh, this is Dr. Eve Lambert. You have what's left of my convertible? I know, I know. It's been badly burned. But I was wondering if you might be able to do me a favor and check the gas tank. Uh, I'm looking for any kind of like a hole or a leak anywhere. It's for insurance reasons. Personal insurance. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I bring lots and lots of your little patterns and all your colors, okay? Yep. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for showing up on such short notice. We'll be waiting, waiting. Okay. Ta. <laughs> <sighs> You're not getting a tattoo. Mm. Why the heck not? Come on, everybody else is doing it. It's very trendy. You know how I like to follow the trends. And besides, <gasps> Cher. Picture Cher. She has a 
lot of those tattoos, and she's a lot, a lot older than us. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Silly me. Hmm. What's your tattoo going to look like? Oh, okay, okay. Picture this. A little, like, heart. About like this. Well, maybe not that big. <gasps> With Kevin in the center of it. Perfect? Mmm. Quintessential elegance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where are you going to put it? Ooh. Well, someplace very private. I don't need to know that. Hmm. You know what? I think I kind of like it here. I want it right here. Ouch. You're going to be sitting on Kevin for the rest of your life. <gasps> I will be. Isn't that romantic? That's the most romantic idea I've had in a long time. Getting your hiney pricked by needle? Mm-hmm. Because it's so permanent. You know, I mean, think about a ring. If you get mad, you can just throw it off into the ocean, and there goes that commitment. But a tattoo? Now, that's forever. Okay, well, you just go ahead and you knock yourself out. I'm going to stand there, I'm going to hold your hand, and I'm going to watch it happen. Guess what? You're going to do a lot more than that. You are going to get a tattoo, too. Am not. R2. No, I'm not. Yeah, now, yeah. why would I want a Kevin tattoo on my butt? Oh, this blonde thing, you know, you got to change the color of your hair because it's ridiculous. Think about it. You're not going to get Kevin. You're going to get Mac. He'll love it. You know, guys think tattoos are very, very sexy. And besides, it'll prove to both of them how much we love them. But you know what we're going to need? We just need a little bit more of that margarita stuff to fortify our courage. Lucy, there are not enough margaritas in the world that will make me get a Mac tattoo. You want a bet? Excuse me, but did somebody page me? I'm afraid that was me. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, no, not at all. You rescued me from a staff meeting. What's up? Well, um, I had another visit from Garcia. He had some questions for me concerning my connection to the murders. Well, it is understandable. I mean, your book is... It plays the central role in all of this. And not to mention the fact of that person who tried to set you up by planting that noose and the clown suit in the back of your car. Well, you... You must be starting to feel assaulted. I want to construct a psychological profile on this butcher. But I'm too close to be objective. I have a lot of thoughts about it. I also have a friend who works at the Bureau, and she'll be back in town next week. That's too late. I want to set up the profile and then put together a trap using myself as bait. And I want it over by the wedding. <laughs> Here we are, here we are, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the convent where they were taking care of Victor, remember? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought that was really nice of Sister Marguerite to take that picture, considering we were making a mockery of her life's work. True, true. Do you know what, though? I never wanted to tell you this before, but now's the time. You were the absolute worst nun in the world. <laughs> Me? Well, what about you? Straddling that wall with those silk stockings and waving that baguette in the air? Hey, you know what? I was hungry. And you know how I get when I get really hungry. And besides, I love those silk stockings, you know, from Paris. Paris has the best lingerie in the world, too. You know what? I think we should see if they could overnight us a whole bunch of that lingerie stuff for a honeymoon. Lucy, you just bought out Wyndham's. Yeah. Nuts. I know, but I want to indulge Kevin's every single fantasy. Uh, <laughs> spare, spare me the gory <laughs> details. I have virgin ears. <laughs> Virgin. Virgin, virgin, virgin. That's the word. That's the word I have been searching for, and you just found it. That's what Kevin makes me feel like. He makes me feel like a complete virgin, like it's the first time, you know? Because he loves me for me, and because he accepts me for my minor, minor flaws and all. Lucy, how could you possibly have any minor flaws? Hmm, good point. I don't have any, but he still loves me. Naughty and nice. And he trusts me, and I trust him. Do you know, I trust him with my whole life, and I think that he trusts me with his life. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Well, you know, Mac, Mac is really swell, too, you know. 